Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide decimals by whole numbers. Now decimals and division show up all throughout math and really throughout life as well. So being able to work with decimals and solve division problems involving decimals will be beneficial no matter what class, level of math, or goal you are working towards. Whatever your situation may be, this should be helpful in better understanding how to divide decimals. Let's jump into number one where we have 73 and 8 tenths divided by 3. The first thing that we need to do is set this problem up. That way we can go through the division process. 73 and 8 tenths is the dividend, the number we are dividing. So it goes under the division bar. 73 and 8 tenths divided by 3. 3 is the divisor, the number we are dividing by. It goes on the outside of the division bar. Now, whenever we have a division problem that involves decimals, we always need to check. Is the divisor a whole number? If yes, bring the decimal straight up into the answer. So for number one, our divisor is three. That's a whole number. So we bring the decimal straight up into the answer. Now we go through the division process, the same process we use when we divide whole numbers. So divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. We start with divide. So we have seven divided by three. How many whole groups of three in seven? Well, two, that gets us to six. Now we multiply, two times three is six, subtract, seven minus six is one, and then we bring down. Now we have 13 and we repeat. So we go back to divide. 13 divided by three. How many whole groups of three in 13? Four, that gets us to 12. Now we multiply. Four times three equals 12. Subtract, 13 minus 12 is one. And then we bring down the eight. Now we have 18 and we repeat, so we go back to divide. 18 divided by three. So how many whole groups of three in 18? Six, that equals 18 exactly. Multiply, six times three, 18, subtract, and we get zero. So we went all the way over to the furthest place to the right, which was the tenths place for number one, and we have a clean cut zero here that tells us that we are done. Our final answer, 24 and 6 tenths. For number two, we will see what happens when we do not get that clean cut zero and we need to extend the problem until we do. Let's move on to number two where we have 46 and 62 hundredths divided by 15. Let's start by setting this problem up. 46 and 62 hundredths divided by 15. Is the divisor a whole number? Yes, 15 is a whole number. That means we bring the decimal straight up into the answer. And now we go through the division process. So we start with divide. We have four divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 in four? Well, we can't do that. So we need to use the six as well and take a look at 46. We have 46 divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 in 46? Well, three, that gets us to 45. Make sure that three goes above the six in 46, not above the four. Since we used both of those digits and we had 46 divided by 15, that three needs to go above the six. Now we multiply, three times 15 is 45. Subtract, 46 minus 45 is one, and then bring down. Now we have 16 and we repeat, so back to divide. 16 divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 in 16? One. Now we multiply. One times 15 is 15. Subtract. 16 minus 15 is one. 
bring down the two, and now we have 12. So repeat, and we go back to divide. 12 divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 in 12? Well, we can't do that, so we need a zero here, and now we multiply. Zero times 15 is zero. Subtract, 12 minus zero is 12. So we went all the way over to the furthest place to the right, the hundredths place, but we have a 12 at the end. We do not have a clean cut zero yet. That 12 does not mean remainder 12, like when we work with whole numbers. This answer is in decimal form, so we need to keep it that way. What we need to do is extend the problem until we do get a clean cut zero, and that will mean the problem is done and we have our final answer. We can do this by using placeholder zeros that we can bring down. So let's use a placeholder zero in the thousandths place that we can bring down and continue this problem in order to work towards that final answer. Now remember, zeros to the right of a decimal do not change the value of that decimal, of that number. So we are able to use this strategy. Let's bring this zero down and continue the problem. So now we have 120 and we repeat. So we go back to divide. We have 120 divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 in 120? Well, eight, and that hits 120 exactly. Now we multiply, eight times 15 is 120. Subtract, 120 minus 120 is zero. So now we have that clean cut zero and we are done with this problem. We have our final answer three and 108 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how you divide decimals by whole numbers. Remember, always check, is the divisor a whole number? If so, bring that decimal straight up into the answer. Now in this video, the divisors were whole numbers. I will cover what we do when the divisor is not a whole number in other videos. Those links are down in the description. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.